The game of baseball has been known to be a game of adjustments. Slight alterations in bat path, arm angle, or pitch mix have been known to make or break careers. Players and coaches are tasked with understanding one deficiencies and making the adequate changes to maximize a player's ability. Aaron Judge switched his stance back to his rookie year stance and set the American League record for home runs. Barry Bonds made alterations to his diets, creating a second prime and becoming the GOAT in many people's eyes. However, not all adjustments work out. Cody Bellinger won the NL MVP and decided to change his batting stance, and well, we know how that went. One of the biggest emphasis of the new generation of baseball players and sabermetrics has been to increase the launch angle. The days of average being an indicator of whether a hitter is quality or not are over, with a preference for home runs and advanced metrics. A prime example of the power of launch angle is Vladimir Guerrero Jr., a former top prospect in his own right. He has always been top 1% in the league in exit velocity since his call-up in 2019, however, struggled to get the results many people expected of him. The problem was, his launch angle was way too low. Even though he was crushing baseballs, he was pounding them into the dirt. Then came his MVP finalist season in 2021, where his launch angle increased to 9.4. Here he saw career numbers for his young career, and it took a never-before-seen feat by Shohei Otani to keep him from winning MVP. While I'm not saying Cabrian Hayes could reach that same level of heights for his offensive game, an increase in launch angle would do him some good. So far in his young career, Hayes sits in a 4.4 average launch angle. Not so coincidentally, his best season comes from the year his launch angle was the highest at 7.4. When looking at the underlying numbers, such as exit velocity and sweet spot percentage, it shows there is some level of competency within Hayes as a hitter. Baseball Savant has this neat tool where it pulls data of hits at every hit speed and launch angle. So if I go ahead and put current Hayes' current averages in, this is the result you get. As you see, it yields a lot of infield grounders. That can sometimes be random whether it's a hit or not based off defensive position. However, if you simply increase the launch angle by 5%, while still is a, which is still around average, you see a massive jump in expected batting percentage and doubles. As someone who will never be a true power hitter, I would love to see Hayes use his bat to ball skills to find more gaps, line drive and line drive singles that drop in front of the outfielders. You see, Cabrian Hayes does not need to become an elite, elite level hitter to provide immense amount of value. His defense and average level hitting is already providing over four war in a shortened season. The improvement, it's right in front of them. 